tracing the origins of, of where this fear is coming from is so critical to learn to overcome it. Because what happens is we start to get trapped. We start to get caught up in the fear. And we just, a lot of what we do to overcome it is surface level. It's just enough to get us out, but not enough to get us out of the fear loop. And the loop is what we need to identify. That's when we need to take the time and start to go deep within, ask the self the, the questions about where is it coming from? How can I trace back that origin of this fear? Why do I keep going into this continual cycle and allowing myself to experience this fear? And most importantly, what am I supposed to learn from this fear? Right? Because you know, we're fear is in many ways a really great tool for us, right? It shouldn't always be something that bogs us down and limits our potential. You know, fear is what creates that opportunity where, okay, you know, we we don't know that what a hot stove is when we're children and we touch it and that kind of jolts us and then we're a little bit afraid of like, hey, maybe we shouldn't do that. Well, that's self-preservation. That's kind of important. And so there are aspects of fear that help us in our evolution and as we grow. But Unlike a long time ago, we are no longer in that state where we're attempting to fight off saber-toothed tigers uh, and, and fighting for our lives. Most individuals in the world at this point at least are able to uh, surpass those life or death situations like we had thousands of years ago. Uh, and But now we're uh, the way that fear shows up today is a lot different. It's more societal based. It's influence based. And it's this external to internal that's helping define who we are. And unfortunately, our society has really taught us to embrace the external to internal uh, definition of self. So we take everything that's around us and we say, okay, based on what, you know, he, she, and they say about me, that helps me create my mental model, my model of myself, the way that I talk to myself, and the way that I understand who I am in relation to the world around me. And this is what can create an unfortunate fear loop, is because when we start to get feedback, that is, whether it's negative, and uh, like maybe for example, you have a fear of public speaking. That's a big one. Many of us struggle with that. I've struggled with that for a long time in my life and I still have moments where it pops up where I'm supposed to speak and I just, gosh, I feel my heart racing and it just goes crazy. And so, you know, what do we, what do, we do? Like, why, why is that such, why does it almost feel like it's life and death? And what are we supposed to learn from that? And so something that's really helped me uh, in this process is tracing it back to when I actually was young and I started to to get up and we had class, you know, we had to share book reports. And I always struggled with that. Um, I understood it, but I had trouble explaining it. Um, you know, maybe if I, if I was in a conversation with the teacher, for example, and we talked about it and we had cool ideas about it and we expressed, you know, in collaboration together, you know, what it was about, I could effectively share my understanding and, and comprehension of the book and the themes. But when it comes to me just standing in front of a class and just sharing that, uh, I just kind of, I just would freeze. And I started to get that feedback, you know, you know kids kind of going like, wow, okay, or you know, twiddling if I'm not paying attention, or, you know, it, as I was growing up, you know, started getting the phones and started looking at those, or even the teacher wasn't even paying attention. And I says, whoa, okay, this is, um, you know, this is not great feedback. And so I started to get fear uh, around this, and I started to kind of pull in and, uh, and tell myself that I'm not a good public speaker. And wow, did that really shift the dynamic because that's what I kept telling myself. That's what it seemed like the world was telling me. And so that was the identity I started to take on. And so then I continued this loop of fear, this loop of fear that would keep me from limiting, it just limited my potential. And it wasn't until recently, honestly, uh, you know, and this is, you know, 
over 20 years ago that I have had this fear. And uh, just in the last couple of years, I started doing videos on a regular basis where I finally start to feel comfortable in front of a camera, talking like this, sharing, and having ideas that, you know, some of them aren't fully thought out in full transparency. I'm learning just like you. And when I had that realization is, you know, so is everyone. Uh, it's important to, to gain knowledge. It's important to take the time to learn and grow, but none of us have it all figured out. And so just that awareness opened that door. And that's the beauty. You know, knowledge is limited by awareness. We can only do so much until we expand that awareness. We expand the awareness, then we can gain more knowledge and then we can grow. And so when I had that awareness, it just kind of kind of dropped, felt like I'd, all this weight just lifted off my shoulders. I was like, okay, good. You know, now I know that I don't just have to know everything and I have to kind of, you know, have this expectation that I do know everything. Uh, that's not the case, you know, we're still all learning. So that opened the door, it freed me up and just allowed me to be. And it relinquished that fear as much as possible. Now there are still moments, you know, even before stepping in today onto this conversation, into this, uh, I, I had a little bit of apprehension, a little bit of fear. Yeah, sometimes that's a good thing. You know, having a little bit of nerves, uh, even some professional athletes will say they still have uh, have those nerves before they, you know, have a, a game winning shot or, uh, you know, a, a tournament winning putt, for example, for those golfers out there. Uh, and it's just, you know, it means you care. And that's a good thing. Caring is definitely a good thing that stems from love. And so... If we can shift that mental model like we're talking about by tracing it back to some event or a series of events that created this loop, then from there we can get ourselves out of that loop and we no longer feel like that hamster on the wheel, you know, running fast and going nowhere. We start to feel more free and we can actually start to really grow from that perspective and show that we care and set the intention from love instead of fear.